So as you can see, we have made our Monday um, graph comparing caloric consumption for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, our three different meals. And now what we want to do is make a graph of caloric consumption for breakfast, Monday through Sunday. So before I even play around with any data here, because as you can see, right now the data is chunked by day, but if you want to graph only for breakfast, we want to chunk by meal instead, because right now all the breakfast data is split up. We want it to be together. But that means I would have to resort this data, and that's not what I want to do on the same sheet because it will mess up our existing graph. What I recommend in these circumstances when you want to make another graph from the same data is to duplicate this um, Google Sheet. So go ahead and click on this downward arrow, and you can press duplicate, and a copy of that previous data sheet um, will be made in this copy. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to say this is breakfast uh, graph for tutorial random data. Just so I know, this is where I'm going to be making my breakfast graph. And then on this copy, go ahead and delete your graph because you can make a fresh graph. So let's take a look at this data. You can see, like I mentioned before, it is categorized by day. The days are all chunked together, which means we can study each day and the meals on that day. But what we want to do now is you want to study um, breakfast only. So we want the breakfast meal to be chunked together, and instead we want to see how caloric intake is changing from day one through day seven. So go ahead, we're going to sort meal. If you right click on meal, you can sort sheet A through Z. And notice that what we really want on our graph is the x-axis of day and how that impacts the calories you're eating, that's our y-axis. And so our graph should have day and calories. Let's go ahead and move those two things together because that's what we want to graph together. And so when we're selecting our data, um, these columns are right next to each other. So I have them right next to each other, and again, the way you do that is you just make sure you have the hand, and you drag that column to wherever you need it to be. Now we're going to select the data that we want to graph. So we're going to select the day and calories and all of the corresponding data for breakfast. Press insert like before and click on chart. So right now the graph you might be thinking, that looks a little strange. It's graphing both day and calories. And we only want to be looking at calories and how it changes over time by the day. So there are some changes that need to be made. First, this is a change over time. And so instead of having a column chart or a bar graph that represents different categories, we want to have a line graph because it's a change over time. Okay. The next thing is notice that we don't even have an x-axis. In fact, our x-axis is being graphed as the day over here. That does not make much sense. And so let's go ahead and add an x-axis. As you can see, it's missing. If you click on this box here, add x-axis, you can select a data range that corresponds to the x-axis. Be very careful here. You want to select the range including the title like so. So I'll include days one through seven. If you don't do that, let's practice, let's remove. Let's say that you only added um, the data itself. It will be missing some data. Okay, so come day one's completely gone. It's because it's treating day one as the title um, without getting too much detail. It's just missing data. You want to make sure you are including the title, um, the date title up here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and then select the entire column for breakfast, including the title over here. Awesome. Okay. So the next thing is we have two lines going on. That has to do with the series. As you can see, we have a series of day and a series for calorie. Well, we don't really want to graph day. So you can delete that series, click on these three dots, and click on remove. And then now you have a clean graph that has um, how calories for breakfast are changing over time, day of the week. But is that really reflecting our title? No, our title is just saying day and calories. It's very vague. And so let's go ahead and customize our chart and axes titles. For the chart title, you definitely want to add that this is breakfast. Okay, so I would say caloric intake for breakfast 
from Monday to Sunday. Or you can say during the week, whatever. You just want to specify that this is uh, a whole week. And if you want, I would even do this. Next to Monday, put one, so you know what that number represents. And next to Sunday, if I can get there, put seven, just so we know that's how our days are numbered. Next thing I'm going to check for are axes titles. So our horizontal axis is over here, one through seven. These are the days of the week. And then our vertical axis title over here is um, showing us the caloric intake. And again, our unit there would be the calorie. I want to make sure that our y-axis is starting from zero, and it is, which is perfect, and looks like our graph is good. If you want, you can get rid of these lines. You don't really need grid lines, but I guess I don't really mind them. Oh, I am can't be deleted. Never mind. You can't delete it. It's fine. This graph is looking good. It's labeled. It only has one series, which is what we want. We have our units included. We specified what day is Monday, what day is Sunday. So here you have it your graph for breakfast. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this was helpful. Hope you learned a few new things about Google Sheets and know how to use it more effectively. Bye.